Hello everybody, it's Rika Says Piz Mac Cat. I'm here to upload a video about how to make inverted side wheels to practice with with telekinesis and to develop your chi energy and telekinesis. Now, um, these are just clips that you're seeing me doing a big old foil. It's just an inverted one on a cell phone. And I'm gonna talk about what cell phone you need in order to do it and what things you need um, in order to make it. Ping pong balls, some scissors, and just watch the video, generic, um, regular foil. So just watch it, enjoy the video, learn. Hello everybody, it's Rika Sis, but it's Matt Cat Sphere, and I'm here to record a video to talk about um, how to do um, inverted side wheels, how to make them. This is an inverted side wheel that I made, and I'm going to teach you a very simple way to make one. This is a Dollar Tree uh, shape one, and I'm using, these are the things you need, is that you need to get some scissors, obviously, and you need to get some very generic, regular foil. Because it's more softer and more malleable than regular Reynolds wrap. Reynolds wrap's too stiff. This one folds and bends and and is more uh, fills your chi energy more. So you want to get this like a dollar. It's like the cheapest one at Walmart. The one that looks like this or cheaper is good because they're more softer. It's more softer foil. And what you want to do also is you want to get a Blue View 2 cell phone. You could get a Blue View 2 3. But um, I'm, I'm not too sure that one's better or not. I'm going to have to go investigate and try to purchase one and practice with one. They're not that much. Maybe like $50 or $60. Uh, the View 3. But this one right here, the View 2, is only like $29. But you can get them at Target with a low price. You can look at the Walmart or Target. They usually have them. You have to call in. Maybe Best Buy has them too. Sometimes they have them like discounts for like a dollar. Uh, $10, you only have to pay uh, $19.99. So what it is is that you get yourself a piece of foil from here. And you cut yourself a piece and you shape it into like a dollar like this. So it's like, it has to be something similar to like, this is an adult hand. So it's kind of large. It looks kind of large, kind of big. So it's kind of like it fits my hand pretty big. You could, be, you could do smaller ones. So you just cut a shape out from this generic foil right here that you get from the Walmarts. That's like a dollar something. The cheapest one because it's softer, feels you more. And... um. You use a scissors, and then what you do is you get yourself a ping pong ball like this, and you put it right in the middle like this, and you and you kind of, you can tell that it's already, uh, I've already kind of, it shapes the bottom part to it. You can see that right there. It shaped it right to the part. And you shape it, you, you put the ping pong ball right in the middle of the foil, and then you kind of wrap it around a little bit, and kind of mold it around the ping pong ball so you could get a good bottom shape, like a little round shape like that. It's kind of hard to see well because, uh, like that. It's like a little round shape, little ball shape made by the ping pong ball. And then it creates this shape. Little ping pong ball shape bottom part. And the reason why you want a sphere shape is because it moves around more and it kind of... Uh, it, it, it's better than a sharp edge. It's more rounded, so it moves around more better. And you have to also kind of like stretch it out a little bit. You know, once you have that shape, wrap the foil around the ping pong ball a little bit so you can get that good shape. All right? And then you take out the ping pong ball. Do it gently. And you want to get a nice smoothness. You want to get your thumb. When you have the ping pong ball and you're wrapping the foil around it, you want to get your finger and you want to smooth the bottom part out. Smooth it out with your thumbnail. Smooth out the little wrinkles and the little uh, imperfections to make it smoother. And then you take the ping pong ball out and then you have something like this that balances. And you want to fold it out and stretch it out so you can get it balanced correctly. So it'll be able to move right. This one's a little bit messed up because I use a ping pong ball to show a demonstration on you guys. But what it is that you guys already, this is the exact one that I've used on my videos and my Instagram one that I've shown you guys. And so just look at those videos and you'll be able to uh, see, see like, the, like the demonstrations and all that. And um, just take your time, be patient, watch the tutorials, watch the videos. And what you do is that you just put your hands around it and you let the energy feel you and you, and, and, and you let your thermal energy, bioelectrical energy feel it and it moves it around it, okay? Use both hands on top or on bottom or whatever you want to do. And then you'll be able to manipulate the foil to where, uh, just let it do anything it wants, let the foil and the, let the thing move however it wants. Don't try to uh, think about how you want it to go. Just let your energy affect it and let it let it move. Let it move and let it do what it wants to do. You know, don't don't try to force it. And then you'll be able to see some motion. And then later on, you'll be able to control it how you want it to. 
And that's how it is. That's that's how you uh, manipulate the, the chi energy of foil and things like that. But you have to get a View 2 cell phone like this. Blue View 2. You could try View 3, but that's more expensive. Maybe the glass is more better on View 3, but I'm not too sure. But you put your hands around it. Take your time. Let the energy feel it, and you'll be able to affect it. And you guys have seen my videos where I've done it. But you have to get it in a particular fold. You have to get the foil in a particular way that it balances and it rotates. So you have to mess with it a little bit, you know, you have to kind of mess with it a little bit and kind of manipulate the bottom part of it so that you can get it to where you need it to be. And it, it'll start to kind of rotate and spin and everything. And so that's it. That's all you need to do is just get these, get the regular generic foil and also get one of these right here. And, and, um, this is like a little, uh, microfiber cloth that I got from the, from the Dollar Tree. And you can get one of those to clean off the cell phones. And they'll be able to, um, you know, make it more smoother. And I recommend rubbing it down with it for about 20 or 30 seconds. 20 or 30 seconds. And then it'll be really, really nice and smooth and clean. And just all the way in circular motion, all the way around. Circular motion all the way around, all the way around like that. And then that's it. And then, and then uh, just let your energy affect it. Work up close at first, and then over time, move further and further back. And then you'll be able to affect it and move it in any, in, in any way you want. So that's it, guys. That's the tutorial. Make sure to get a Blue View 2 cell phone and, to, and a generic foil all the time. Get generic. Get a ping pong ball to make the shape out of the foil to kind of wrap it around. And then mess with it a little bit to get it right and get it to where it will spin and rotate and balance right. Okay, you want it to be like... Both ends are not touching or not stopping itself. You have to be kind of balanced and in the air. Suspend it in the air. The only thing you want to touch is the center part. So you have to mess with the foil a little bit to get it right. So there you go, guys. I hope this helps. Watch my videos, watch my tutorials, and uh, put your hands around the foil when it's on the cell phone and just let your energy affect it. Mess with the foil so you can get it in the right positions that you need it to be. You have to fold it and mold it a little bit, stretch it out a little bit, stretch, stretch it out a little bit. Uh, make sure you still have the little bend, the little ping pong ball bend. Just mess with it and get it to where it rotates and spins. And then put your hands around it and then take your time, okay? And do it 15 minutes a day and let your heat and everything mess with it and just let it go anywhere. Don't try to force it to go anywhere. Just let it do anything it wants to do. And then later on, you'll be able to control it the way I do in my videos. So there you go, guys. Wrap your hands around it, okay? Real close or on top with your hand on top with the foil, everything on top like that. Just, just, just let it do what it wants, okay? And that's the best advice I can give because that's how I did it. And over time, you could do it further away, six feet away and all that, which you've seen my videos. And I've read the stories, you know, all that stuff. So there you go, guys. God bless. I hope this video helps you. Take care.